So you know on this channel we love a good cheap versus expensive. Neither of these are very cheap, but it's still worth checking out. We have the Martin Custom Shop SC back in the store and the now very popular SC10E. We're gonna look at you know the full range of the SC line, which you get in a cheap-ish versus very expensive. Stick around. How's it going, y'all? This is Cooper Greenberg at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, comment on them, let us know your thoughts, and uh, check us out on Fretboard Confessional, our podcast. We're slow with making episodes, but we're still making them, so don't worry about that. They'll still be there. Um, and I have a lot to say about Nam. We've done some Martin Custom Shops. Um, that will be coming in when they can get in, and we will see. But um, in the meantime, we do have a very cool Martin Custom Shop that we have talked about on the channel before, and when we made that video, it had already sold, and luckily that the person who bought that guitar let us make the video before it shipped out to them. But we have another CSSC 2022 in stock, the much uh, wanted and extremely expensive all solid wood version of the Martin SC. Up against it today, I've got the SC-10E. Now, this guitar has been out for a couple years, maybe about a year and a half. Time moves differently in the guitar store, but this has been around. We have gone through quite a few of them, and this was the answer to the SC-13. Um, SC-13E, the first kind of offset SC body shape that everybody liked from the Road series. And then at the same time as the SC10, they put out the SC13E Special and Special Burst. So you've got really four guitars in the SC line, plus the uh, custom shop version that I don't know how long they're gonna keep making them. They have made more, that's how we got another one. But these, they do say 2022 in the name. So who knows how long the SC uh, custom shop version is going to be out. But we do have one, and uh, I will talk a little bit about the other three, the SC13 and the Special and the Burst, a little bit, but really today it's the most entry-level SC to currently the highest-end SC. I'm going to put this one down for just a second, talk to you about the custom shop version, um, and if you've watched the channel, if you watch any other channel that talks about Martin Guitars, when they put out the SC-13, everybody wanted to know when a solid wood version would come. Because as of right now, everything in standard production is laminate back and sides, made in Mexico. Everybody wants the American-made solid wood version. So as a, hey, I think it's coming, who knows, but in the meantime, here's your solid wood version. Um, they put out the custom shop CSSC 2022. Now, this is a uh, Adirondack top. I mean, uh, this is Sitka Spruce VTS top. This is Adirondack VTS bracing, um, but it is absolutely drenched in abalone. One of my little gripes about the uh, all the other SCs is the Aperture Rosette. I'm just not a fan. I think it's totally fine. But of course, in response, we get the extreme abalone overload, which is cool. This one does come with the liquid metal bridge pins, um, compensated bone saddle, and uh, the inlay on this thing is kind of plays into what the SC looks like with the kind of, I don't even know what they call that, the dot, it's something like that. But this is custom inlay, so it's very fancy. You got the inlaid pearl uh, logo on the headstock and the little design. These are open geared tuners, Waverly's, of course, solid East Indian rosewood bind, uh, back and sides, and again, this is a nitro finish, so you're getting the dust. But that is the custom 45 kind of mosaic style backstrip. Very cool. And this does have the same exact neck design um, where, you know, I think it's the Sherline neck system. So it's the same exact kind of idea of a very fast playing, great for electric guitar players, super nice upper fret register access, and um, should be pretty easy to adjust on your own. I know you still need the shims. It's quite a process, but it is a very interesting for Martin revolutionary neck design. Um, you do have the volute on the back and European maple binding all over this thing, including on the fretboard. 
abalone fret dots up top, and mahogany neck. It is a fancy pants guitar. It does come with the pickup system. This is the Aura VT blend from Fishman, which you'll see on modern deluxe guitars and all that. It's a nice pickup system. Um, and the thing is, I went to the factory. I saw these being made. It is a process. And I think part of that comes down to this is not a shape of guitar that Martin has ever made. And I don't think the tooling is there quite yet to make solid wood versions, put the side pieces in, have them you know, heated and bent to this shape. There is a lot of handwork that goes into this guitar. And so until the factory, which I know they're going to do, I'm sure of it. At this point, we've said it so many times. I'm sure they will make a 28 version and a 15 version and an 18 version and maybe a 45 version. This is pretty close to what I think a 45 or maybe 41 version would look like with all the abalone. But until it gets there to where it's quicker to do in the factory, I think these have so much handwork in them, they're going to stick in the custom shop for a little while. Um, I know that the bracing pattern is different than everything else. Handwork goes into that. And that's what we love Martin's for is how hand built they are still in 2023. Um, but this one I think requires a little bit extra. So this is the version that we have right now to see what a solid wood SC sounds like. Um, I will play this one for you obviously, but before we get into that, I'll give you a quick rundown again on the SC10. This is not super far off from what you'll see in the 13s. Um, it is solid spruce top, but like I said, laminate back and sides. This one is all satin, um, koa veneer back and sides. That's gonna be the same thing on the 13, the regular one. The special will have a zero cote veneer, as will the special burst. Special and special burst are the same exact thing, just one has burst on the top. And I think it's a really sharp burst, but this is the as stripped down as it gets, SC10, satin finish, spruce top, koa veneer back and sides, same exact neck system that you're gonna get, same neck carve. Um, this does have open geared tuners. These are not Waverly's, but that's to be expected in the price range. Um, this one goes for $12.99 right now. The custom shop version goes for $79.99. So quite a big jump. I know we want the $29.99 version. I, I don't know if we'll ever get there, but I think if we could get a 28 version, probably be in the 36 range. I'm just making stuff up now, but that's what seems to make sense for me. So there's a huge range within these two guitars, um, price-wise, appointment-wise. That's that aperture inlay that I was talking to you about. That's not my favorite. I don't think it's terrible. And you can see the dots on the 12th. You got kind of that the whole, you know, who knows. But this guitar looks totally fine and it plays great. I think everybody that plays these guitars, um, they do so because it's one of the easiest playing Martins out there. People love the Martin name. They like something new and fresh and these are still relatively new and fresh. So I'm gonna let you hear both of these starting on the SC10E with the laminate back and sides and then moving on to the all solid version from the custom shop. Here you go.
So there you have it, a little sample on both of these. Now, like I said, they're both very easy to play. They both have the same neck carve, which is the low profile velocity neck. But everything on this guitar, it's basically like a spec for spec upgrade from the Road Series versions. So you got the VTS on the top, you got all solid wood, back and sides, wood binding, um, the volute, the upgraded tuners, the bone nut and saddle versus tusk, which is on the Road Series versions, um, the liquid metal bridge pins, Adirondack VTS bracing, the pickup system, the SC10 has the Fishman MXT in it, but basically everything in this guitar from the inlays to the construction, um, all of the materials is going to be that step up. Now it is up to y'all to decide if it's a close to $7,000 step up. I think for something like this that it is very, very hand built and very premium, I think that makes sense. We've seen Martin Customs and Taylor Customs and Gibson Customs and every, I mean, don't even get me started on the smaller luthiers that are doing them one by one. Custom guitars are getting very, very expensive, but it's because materials are getting more expensive and there's a lot of stuff that goes into, it, especially something like this, that's got so much handwork going into it. But um, I think sound-wise, the SC10, SC13, they are guitars that are meant to be played like electric guitars and using that logic, I think that most people are playing them plugged in, um, which I played them both kind of acoustic just through a microphone today. So you can hear the honest differences. Obviously they're two separate pickups, so it's kind of hard to tell the comparison of the wood versus the pickups and what's coming from where. So through the microphone, 47 Junior condenser mic, and in person as I'm playing them, there is a true noticeable difference between the tone of the SC10 and the tone of the custom shop. I think obviously that comes from VTS top, solid back and sides, versus the non-VTS over there, just normal spruce top and layered back and sides. Um, there's a depth and a body to this, even though it is a pretty thin body, um, you, you get the rosewood sound. You get the overtones and the depth and the rich chocolate cake lows. And then you have a spruce top, so you should be getting some of that brightness. But with the VTS, it sounds a little more played in, sounds warmer. This is definitely a better sounding guitar, and that should surprise nobody. However, the SC10, SC13, SC13 Special, they play just like this guitar. Um, I don't think that anybody should say, you know, I need something that plays super easy, I'm gonna be plugging it in, but I I better go for the all solid wood, that's the only option. Um, with the SC13 and 10, they're great sounding guitars on their own. We know that layered back and sides can sound fantastic, um, but for what these guitars are for, this is definitely an art piece. This is a showcase of how crazy can we make this guitar while we build the foundation for making, you know, standard series versions. Um, I think this guitar is beautiful. Anybody that buys this guitar will have a lifetime instrument that kind of gets in on the ground floor of this body style that I think will be around for the foreseeable future. Um, you can kind of get the first version of this guitar in solid wood, and I think that it will be a collector's piece probably down the road. Who's to say? But I imagine when people go to the factory in 20, 30 years and they're taking the tour of the museum, you'll probably see one of these in there alongside the first SCs because this is uh, kind of a, a milestone guitar for them. But for the money, $12.99, you want an acoustic guitar and your electric player that needs to play fast, needs to play comfortably. I like the offset body because it's great for sitting down just like the Jazz Masters were meant to be. Um, so I think the, the SC10 holds great value as well. They're polarizing guitars that people come in here and play. They love how they feel, but they don't love the look of them. They love that it's Martin doing something different, but they wish that it was all solid wood. There's all kinds of things that I think will be figured out as this line continues to grow. But in the meantime, let me know what you think. Do you jive with the fact that this is an $8,000 guitar versus a $1,200 guitar? Um, we've done this, the first cheap versus expensive that I did was with an X-Series triple O and then a triple O 42. 
that's a huge price difference as well. And I think it's always fun to kind of see what the entry for a certain guitar gets you versus the true top of the line. And it's very fun, but usually the moral is they're both right for completely different types of players and collectors and performers and songwriters. I mean, everybody's different. There's something right for everybody. And it's nice when you get to say, okay, these are both from the same manufacturer. This is a $1,200 guitar versus an $8,000 guitar. They both say Martin on the headstock and they both came out of the case playing great. They put all the care into making their instruments feel and sound good out of the box. Um, so yeah, I think there's, there's a lot to unpack there. Uh, I should mention that if you saw our original review of this guitar, it comes with an insane space age silver hard shell case with plush blue interior that looks like uh, some sort of blaster from a sci-fi movie. And the SC10 comes in their normal road series kind of padded gig bags, nice gig bags. But if that shows you where the cost is going, you know, you got a hard shell case and a soft bag. That's the true difference between these guitars. Otherwise, they're exactly the same. Just kidding, but let us know in the comments what you think. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and learn more about both of these and the 13 and the 13 special all on our website, which is alamomusic.com. And if you're in the area, if you're around San Antonio, please come in, meet us, play all the guitars, tell us what you like, and get some Alamo Music picks while you're here, and we'll give them to you. Um, thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time.